Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over what you should know and what you should be able to do in the introduction topic for National 5 Physics. Now if you want to download your own copy of the learning outcomes document that we're about to go through, check out my website mrmitchellphysics.co.uk and you'll find it in the National 5 Physics section of the website and you can download it for free. So let's get started. Here are the learning outcomes for the introduction topic of the National 5 Physics course and you'll see there's not too many. So it says here that you need to be able to use a calculator effectively including the buttons times 10 to the x or exp, remember that depends on which calculator you have as to which one you use, s to d button, remember that converts decimals into fractions and fractions back into decimals, and x to the minus 1, the inverse button, and eng and the fraction button. So you need to be able to use those buttons on your calculator. You also need to be able to round final answers to an appropriate number of decimal places. So remember we said that one or two decimal places is always going to be sufficient. You also need to have awareness of the Greek letters used in physics. Remember it's not all of the Greek letters that we use in the Greek alphabet, it's only certain ones that we use and you can see those in the Greek letter video. You also need to be able to rearrange formulae to solve for an unknown variable. So remember when you're doing standard three mark calculations, you can either substitute in your numbers first and then rearrange numbers, which is probably a bit easier or you can try and rearrange the formulae first and then substitute in your numbers. So it's up to you as to which method you prefer but you're likely to lose fewer marks if you substitute in the numbers first and then rearrange numbers. You also need to be able to use SI units appropriately. So remember that's things like time which is always measured in seconds, you've got mass is always measured in kilograms and distances or lengths are always measured in meters. Moving on you need to be able to use the prefixes nano, micro, milli, kilo, mega and giga appropriately. So Remember nano, if you see that, you replace it with times 10 to the minus 9, micro times 10 to the minus 6, milli times 10 to the minus 3, kilo was times 10 to the power of positive 3, mega was times 10 to the power of 6, and giga was times 10 to the power of 9. You should be able to use scientific notation appropriately, so if your calculator spits out a large number with lots of zeros for example, you need to be able to put that into scientific notation to write it down as your final answer. So remember one or two decimal places is sufficient. The last outcome here says know and apply the method for the standard 3 marker to solve numerical problems. So you need to be able to do standard 3 mark calculation questions using the method that we looked at in the standard 3 marker video. So remember that means reading the question and extracting the relevant information writing down your formula, then substituting in your numbers or rearranging the formula, whichever you prefer, and then once you've put that into your calculator, you write down your final answer with your units. That's all from me folks, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.